here in Toledo, Ohio, situated by the Maumee River, the battlefield for this game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 26. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's on the run. He's to the 40. He's taken down at about the 45. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 45. Quick pass, and they get five yards from that completion. Tight end does a good job here of selling his block and then getting out on his route and then making a nice catch for a good game. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third and two. Ball on the 47-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Fred, I think they're showing a lot of confidence in this running back. Here's third down and medium. In some cases, you might be thinking that the offense would want to pass, but instead they give it to their back, and he shows that they're not wrong in being able to pick up that first down. They bring him down in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From the 45-yard line, second down. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. West picks up about four yards with the catch. White awaits the snap. The ball changes hands on the punt. Nice opening stand by the defense. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Catches it, and that's all. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. Second and three. Ball on their own 20. Runs outside for a nice game. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. Wants to go long and does. This one will fall incomplete. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 26. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's tackled around the 44-yard line.
tackle at about the 47 yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They'll line up with five wide receivers. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. It looked like he might pick up a head of steam and get the first, but the defense collapsed on him before he could get there. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Gets out to around the 28. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. Number 82, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Nice run up the middle. From their own 34 yard line, it's first down. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. Looks middle, got his back, and down he goes. Around the 30-yard line. They lose four there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Third down again. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Caught with room to work. Fumble. They fall on it. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Well, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. They'll bring him down at about the 21. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. From the 21-yard line, first down. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. He's going to try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle made right around the 10-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Brought down around the four-yard line.
They're about four yards away here on third down. Defense stacked in tight here. He did not get to the first down marker. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Brown looks ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. And he's tackled right around the 26-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 26. And he hits him hard at the 19. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. And down he goes at the 42. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play calling. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Toledo is up by three. And he's level at the 30. From the 30-yard line, first down. Over the middle to his tailback, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. That's a gain of five on the play. That makes it second and six. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, it's first down. He's scrambling. He's taken down at about the 11. He's on the run. Puts on a move. Touchdown. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 42-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rockets have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 39-yard line. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. 
from their own 39-yard line. First down. Right here, right here. Here we go. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Banks with the tackle at the 45-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Moody is the deep man awaiting the return. He's taken down at the 24. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Tackle around the 34-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, the Rockets in front, 10-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. He chucks it downfield. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder, though he didn't make the catch like one. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. He throws left. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. This one's going deep to the end zone. Almost intercepted. Number 13 was the intended receiver of the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 32. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. And they picked up four yards on the scramble. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Running backs can take some big hits when they go out on pass patterns. So you've got to be ready for it. That time, he took the hit and he dropped the ball. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. Toledo lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Oh, man, did he take a hit. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. And they get nice yardage on that run. Flowers comes away with around five yards on that option keeper. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 36. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Here we go. Green, 
Halfback's got it on the quick throw. That's a great tackle. At the 43. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. He's on the run. Nice run to the outside. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. That makes it first and ten. From the 36-yard line, first down. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Here we go. Three, 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 three. Just throws this one away. Now, who's the penalty going to be called on here? Pass interference. Looked like the receiver got a little bit too aggressive there. The defender held his ground, and they threw the flag. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And they got him. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Fourth and long here after the sack. White. He's got a chance to put the defense in great position. They can pin their ears back and come after the quarterback. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes, around the 19-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Here they come. And he almost has the INT. Moody, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Let's go, D. Flips it, middle to the running back. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Go. Watch seven. Watch seven. Watch seven. Yes. 
Here's the give. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 50. He fights forward to about the 49. the catch and the defense is all over him they bring him down for a loss and they'll lose a yard there they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated him there moody back deep to return The Rockets came out of the blocks, and they were on fire, but they've really slowed down here. Yeah, give credit to the defense that they're facing. Early in the game, as you said, it seems like this offense couldn't do anything wrong, but the last few series, this defense has done a much better job of controlling their big playability. We're about set to start things up again. He's under pressure. Tough throw on the run and caught. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. Second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Setting up play action. Once it all, going deep, dropped. The pass falls incomplete. Number three was the intended receiver of the play. That'll bring up the other two. Let's go, 390. Brought down at the 37. He's taken down at the 35. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. He fights forward to about the 36. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Darts it to the left. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. It's really difficult to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And even when you double-team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38. Throws on the run, gets it to the halfback. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Yeah. You don't want none. Hey, check by 45. Check by 45. He's hit and taken down. Call the game of 22 yards. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 16. Let's go, defense. Our time. Our time. 
The ball is loose. Scooped up by the defense. There he goes. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. He zips it out to the left. He's picked it off. This time, it's the safety. He's got an opening. And he's taken down at the 39. Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back and maybe have a chance to get back into this game, but this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline about how excited they are to get the football back and have a chance to put points on the board. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They're about four yards away here on third down. Caught with room to work. He's pushed out of bounds at the 29-yard line. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Patterson gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He steps out around the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He lets it fly. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. He's taken down at the 45. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they push him out around the 41-yard line. He wants it all going long. No, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Motion, 
Tackle around the 23 yard line. He's scrambling. He's tackled at about the 21. He gained a couple of yards on the keeper. Solid stop there by the corner on that one. I'll tell you, I love to see a cornerback willing to step up and make tackles like that. Throws it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Rockets with a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Toledo's got the edge at the half. They also have all of the momentum. The momentum can be a fickle girlfriend, more fickle than a Kardashian, can change her mind at a moment's notice. So how do you keep the momentum on your side in the second half? Well, there'd be a lot happier guys right now if we knew how to keep girlfriends happy out there. But I tell you what, they got to capitalize on the momentum. Continue to use it for your side. Continue to do, continue not to make mistakes. Continue to play aggressive, but also don't play too aggressive. Don't take that momentum and get too hyped up and make mistakes. Just continue to do what you've been doing because obviously right now your girlfriend's happy. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Paula can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Quick strike, and he drops it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. He passes it. This one will fall incomplete. Going long. That close to being intercepted. Number 12, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. He makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They come out in a five-wide set. It's on the ground. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. The defense wasn't fooled at all on the option, and it was their discipline that created that turnover. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. He rifles it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 40, and he hauls that one in. From the 40-yard line, first down. Looks for his tight end over the middle, and they'll get him in the backfield. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that.
It's second and 11. Ball on the 41 yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. Call it a loss of three yards on the way. That brings up third and 14. Night, night, sweetheart. Hey, check Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Ready. Free. He goes downtown. Got it to the senior. Touchdown, Toledo. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. And he adds the extra point. Toledo lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. Here's a quick throw. Picked off. It's the cornerback. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. From the 42-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 28. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. From the 28-yard line, second down. Out of bounds, right around the 24-yard line. Down he goes at about the 17 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 17. Little handoff. The 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. They can't bring him down, and he's in. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 43-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, 27-3. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. Kirk and I, you and I have flights to catch and dinner reservations, and I can't wait. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, there, there is a reset button when it gets this ugly, and I think the fellas here need to hit it. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Tackle made at the 29. Call it a gain of six yards. That brings up second and five. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Here comes the pressure. Brought down around the 30-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it third and three. He's gobbled up in the backfield. White awaits the snap. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. There are a lot of ways that this senior quarterback can beat you. So many people evaluate this quarterback, and they think, of course, about his athletic ability. But what he's showing us today is an ability to also throw the football effectively. And when you look at these two touchdown passes, he's making quick decisions, and he's getting the ball to his receiver to give him a chance to make the play. Well, all of his efforts have given them a comfortable advantage, and a win looks to be in the bag. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First and 10. Ball on the 32. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here we go. Quick throw out to the receiver. Touchdown, Rockets. That's his third toss for a score. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 55-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Toledo gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Got the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 37. Toledo's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, it's just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Catches it, and that's all. That reception good for around four yards. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. Let's it fly. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's a game of 22 on the play. First down. Ready. 
just throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. And they make the stop at the 36. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. So after the big pass play, we have a first and goal. So now this offense finding themselves back in the red zone again after they gave the ball away on a fumble their last trip. He's taken down at about the three-yard line. Knight gains around three yards on the run. It and it's caught for the touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 64-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 34-10. Patterson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Moody takes it at the four. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. The Rockets had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you can say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 32. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Tackle at the 39. Slaughter makes the tackle at the 39 yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. And they're coming after this punter. He's tackled at the 29. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Throws into coverage, just picked off. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. The quarterback has made some really careless throws, but you gotta also give credit to the defense for being able to clean up the mess and create the turnovers. Hey, watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Hey, check Mike 21, Mike 21, check Mike 21. Hey, here's the... He's tackled at the 27-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Fires out to his receiver. And they push him out right around the 12-yard line.
slings it. Nice play to set up first and goal. It's first down. They've got the defense on their heels now. It's first and goal. He scrambles. They'll bring him down at the two-yard line. They're packed in tight on the line. And down he goes around the one-yard line. One more quarter to play. 34-10, Toledo. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Got his tight end touchdown. Well, the offense certainly did their job. They've extended their lead here in the fourth quarter, and now they look at their defensive counterparts and say, hey, guys, it's your turn. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Early in the fourth quarter, and this one we know is over. It's an opportunity for some subs to play on one side and maybe to play for pride on the other. Tackle made at the 33. First and 10. Ball on their own 33. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. Here they come. They bring the quarterback down. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. So the sack makes this a second and long. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Caught by the sophomore, and he's tackled around the 50-yard line. Call it a gain of 14 yards. Third down. In your face. Hey, check by 45, check by 45. <laughs> And they'll get him in the backfield. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. Toledo up big. Made the catch, but he's knocked out before he gets back to the line of scrimmage. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 37-yard line, it's second down. Mike 21, Mike 21, check Mike 21. 
He goes out of bounds at the 34. Deep ball, laying it out there. Touchdown, huge play. What a game this kid's having. He's thrown for five touchdowns. Simply an unbelievable display of passing that we've seen today. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 46-yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. Brown has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Throws left, the running back's got it, and he tackles him hard at the 23. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. From their own 23-yard line, second down. And he throws it away. Throws a laser across the middle. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. White is waiting for the snap. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. This senior quarterback's put on a good show, Kirk. Well, the thing that stands out to me is the way he's getting the football to his receivers. And with the experience that he's gained over the years, it's very obvious how relaxed he's playing and the way he's delivering and distributing the football. Let's also give some credit to the offensive line. They've done a really good job of keeping the pressure off of him just long enough to allow him to read the defense, be able to make the right read, and get the ball thrown downfield for big plays. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 44. Toledo looking to build on this commanding lead here. They go back to him on a quick throw. He's taken down at the 48. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick pass. Tackle at the 46. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. First and ten. Ball on the 32 yard line. Makes the grab and he's got the first. And he's taken down around the 19 yard line. He gets rid of this one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19. They bring him down in the backfield. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Here's the eighth play of the series. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, check 
Toledo looking to put this game away if they score here. This one's going deep to the end zone. Can't connect. Great hands there by the wide receiver. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't get a foot down in bounds. They'll line it up for the field goal. This will just add insult to injury. Kicks away, and he's got it. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23-yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. They'll get him for a loss. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Fires incomplete to the fullback. They'll spread the field with five wide. Got his back, but he can't hang on. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Toledo comes to the line holding that commanding lead. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 45. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Set. Red 18. They run it for the first, and he stopped. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservations. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Just over a minute left. Let's go. He fires this one. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch.
It's first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Here they come, and he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. Wow, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. That's a great tackle at the 42. Number 98 brings him down to the 42-yard line. That'll make it third and 13. Tight end right. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Here we go. Watch the seven. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Tackle made at the 27. You just hope that a game this uneven ends quietly. We don't want to see anything nasty and pointless at the end. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. They give to the tailback. He's tackled at the 30. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, the Rockets, 51, the Flames, 10. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.